Dear friends, Dr. Ranjan again. Today I will be talking about dog bite, rabies, how to identify a rabid dog and furthermore. I have seen a lot of clients after adopting a pup, they come to me telling that they have got dog bite because pups generally play with them. While playing, normally owners get a scratch wound on their hand. Pups have got sharp nails, thereby they get a scratch out. Nothing to worry about. Most of the puppy you buy from a breeder or any other man, generally their mothers are vaccinated and since their mothers are vaccinated, pups are protected because passive immunity is being transferred from mother to pup and that works minimum for three months of age of puppy. Even though if their mothers are not vaccinated, generally since pups are indoor with their mother, there is no chance that they get exposed by some rabid dog or they are bitten by some rabid dog. So there is no chances of them getting rabies. So even though if you have got, you know, puppy bite marks, you don't have to worry about. Just ignore it, wash your hands and just carry on. Now what is rabies? The rabies is a severe viral infection, generally it's fatal, affecting CNS and grey matter of brain of all mammals. Now, how do a dog get rabies? A dog gets rabies when they are bitten by some rabid dogs or some infected dog saliva comes in contact with some scratch wound or abscess or some fresh wound of any healthy dog. The disease is transmitted. How human gets rabies? Same way by some rabid dog bite by some wildlife animals bite, who, who carry rabies, bats bite and if their skin has got any wound or some abrasion and rabid dog saliva comes in contact with them, generally you get rabies. Now how rabies is generally not transmitted? Rabies is not transmitted through blood. It is not transmitted through urine, it is not transmitted through stool. Generally, it is not airborne, it is not transmitted through breastfeeding, and the best part of that rabies, you know, once they are set in saliva, as soon as saliva dries in air, rabies gets eliminated. They die. So don't they don't survive long in environment. Now, how do you identify a dog that it has got rabies? You know, rabies is of two forms, generally it's dumb form and furious form. So once any dog gets rabies, if it is in dumb form, dog becomes very calm. If it won't identify you, it will be sitting somewhere in the corner and it will be aloof. In furious form, generally, Dogs become very wild. They can bite any moving object that may be live or dead. Their movement may be incoordinated. They may be paralyzed. There will be excessive drooling and excessive barking. There may be hydrophobia and some other nervous symptoms. That's it for today. For next slide, I will be talking how to prevent dog bite and if there is dog bite, how to proceed further for treatment. Do like and subscribe my channel so that you are further updated. Thank you.